So back in chapter uh, section seven one, we calculated how much energy was being lost due to resistance. Uh, uh, so we had a, a cylinder of some conductor. We put a potential across the two ends of that cylinder, uh, length L, and we saw how much the um, electric field was throughout the cylinder, and then we can calculate how much uh, work was being done over time. Well, now that we know about the pointing vector, we can calculate how much work, how much energy is traveling into that cylinder just by calculating the E field and the B field at the surface of the cylinder. Okay, so we have our cylinder like this. We have um, the difference between these is V. There's a potential difference across those surfaces. Okay, we have a length L. We have um, a current I that's flowing, so current I. Okay, and we have E is is just V over L um, in one of those directions. Let's, let's say it's just a I hat. Okay, and um, the magnetic field. Well, that's going to be using um, Ampere's law. Ampere's law. Yes, Ampere's law. The total car, uh, current enclosed. So it's mu naught total current enclosed divided by the two pi i two pi r of the um, the surface. So we're just doing Ampere's law, an Amperean loop somewhere around on the surface there. So the area is two pi r. The mag or the I'm sorry, the length is two pi r. The magnetic field's constant, and the current is um, the total current it closed is the current of the thing. And we use the uh, right hand rule to calculate the magnetic field. So it's pointing this way. It's pointing. Okay. And our E vector is pointing down the tube. So E is like this. Okay. And so the pointing vector, S vector, this is around. And the S vector is going um, E cross B, 1 over mu naught E cross B. So we have VI over 2 pi RL. And its direction is E cross B. So we take our right hand in the E direction and we curl it so it's pointing inside E down, it's pointing inside E this way. So we start with E, we curl it this way, it's pointing inside. So it's pointing inside. Okay. Okay. So the total flux of energy passing through, so S dot DA will give us the change in work. So how much area is there across the surface? Well, that's 2 pi RL. There we go. So without even thinking about the conductivity of the material or anything like that, we were able to solve the, um, the power it takes to push current through a resistor. That's pretty cool. Take care. Bye.